Are you looking for a new idea? Have you been going through all the different reddits, all the different forums, trying to find that next niche micro SaaS opportunity, that next D2C brand, that next meme page that you can make, but you're just not really sure where to start? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can use make.com to watch subreddit questions and actually synthesize them into answers that you can then post to a branded meme account on Twitter. The whole idea here is to kind of get into the head of the potential customer or the potential audience that you're trying to attract. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Michael Daigler. I help you leverage AI for your content processes and business. This is automation, generation, repurposing, all the good stuff. School's free, it's down in the description below. Now let's get into the rest of the video. So as you can see here, make.com, and I didn't know this, has a Reddit integration baked in. Who would've thought? And what you do is you can, so you can make a connection with Reddit and it wasn't really too hard to do. You just have to have an account on Reddit and you just select a single subreddit. So this is the only issue is that it's one subreddit. And in a future video, I think I'm going to be showing you how you can actually listen to a bunch of different sources at one time and try to push it into a single meme page. But for now, we're just going to focus on the subreddit. And what I'm doing is I'm just listening every 15 minutes. And this could be, you know, every day instead, depending on like how, how much you want to spend on your API credits over here. Um, and that's why I also have it off. So I'm not doing that. But essentially, I'm we're watching for posts on subreddit r slash uh, self improvement because those are you know probably loaded with a bunch of questions that people are looking for answers for like how do I get better at this how do I do that how do I do that um, so we are going to be looking at how we can help them by answering their questions so the first thing I'm doing is I'm using this open AI module and what I'm doing is I'm having it determine if it is a question because this was the first thing that I ran into when I was listening to the subreddits is sometimes people would just make statements or stuff that was just so random. I was like, why are we even talking about this? And this would be terrible to actually post about on the meme page. So what I'm doing is I'm using, if you go to open AI's module here, I can show you the exact one I'm using. I'm using the text transform to structured data. So it identifies information and prompts text and returns it as structured data. So what I'm doing is I am giving it this prompt with the, what we get back from the Reddit that we listen to, we get all of this information back. And so what you're gonna wanna look for is the link title and the body. So that would be like, you know, the kind of like the hook of the, of the Reddit post, like this is what my problem or something like I have a big question and then the explanatory paragraph that they write underneath that and then the commenters come in and uh, shoot them down. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so what we're doing here is we're determining if it is a question. So it's going to return that variable and then I have this router here that is going with these filters set up. Uh, ignore this because that is actually just not necessary for right now. Um, and in this filter, I'm just saying if is question. So if, if question is true, we are going to go here, and then if it's anything else, we're gonna sleep. And next thing we're doing is we are determining if it is answerable. So sometimes, you know, people like, and this is what I do, I have a criteria, like what do I mean by answerable? So it's like not open-ended, it's a personal question seeking advice, guidance, resources, practical answers. So like, how do I keep over, like, how do I keep overeating from holding me back? Or like, you know, how do I, you know, do 10 pull-ups because I can only do five right now. Something that I believe could be answerable. And I take, I hope people take no offense to this just with a couple Google searches, but because some people are just really lazy and they don't really know um, where to go find the information, but that is what we're going to do for them. We are going to take whatever we find here. We're going to determine if it's answerable. If it's not answerable, then we're going to sleep and we're going to wait again for another post to come in and we're going to do the whole thing all over. But if it is answerable by our criteria that I set, I am going to send it into perplexity. And here, what I'm doing is I'm saying you are an expert researcher and the goal is to help solve the problem or question that was asked by a user in a subreddit. We got this post from subreddit, the name of the subreddit, and then I give it the title and the body and the link to the original post. And the reason I do that is so it can actually go back to the post and maybe check for the comments and do all that stuff. And after that, we get a response, which will be saved to our Google Sheets. And in the Google Sheets right here, 
I have subreddit questions answers. And if I zoom out because it is a bit daunting, it's a bit big, I am tracking the subreddit ID, the subreddit name, post body, the link title, the author, the URL, post like what when it was created, and then the answer is like the answer that perplexity gave to us. And so this is where I'm storing like the raw answers that we're answering for the questions that we find on the subreddit. Once we do that, we have another automation that I'm going to show you right now. And what we're doing is we are watching that same Google sheet that I just showed you. And then we're going to be using Anthropic's Claude model to answer the question in a tweet format. So I'm saying you are an expert internet marketer and ghostwriter for Twitter. We have set up a way to automatically answer questions and save those answers to Google Sheets. Please find the answer in the context below. There's the answer answer context. And again, if you've been on my channel for a little bit, you know that I use these kind of like HTML tags, and that is also pretty common practice in some people's prompting. And it's just to help the model understand where it should be looking and delineate the information you're giving it to the rest of the instruction in the prompt. And after that, I'm saying your job is to review the answer and the context of the answer and do the following. Create a shorter, more concise version of the answer provided. Generate a tweet that is no more than 210 characters, ensuring effectively, ensuring it effectively answers the question. Then I have this big configuration. This is just something I have have saved in my swipe file. Um, if you want that, uh, join my school and I might, I might give it to you. Uh, but you gotta join the school. And then I have here are the steps to follow. First, brainstorm the key topics and experiences and the insights from the answer that would be most relevant and valuable to the target audience. Select one of the post content options from the configuration that best fits the key topics. Write a tweet based on the selected content option, et cetera, et cetera. And important rules, again, no emojis, no hashtags. Write a maximum of 210 characters, and that is because if we're using a third-party app like you see over here to my right, uh, it's a buffer, and buffer only allows you to post with up to 280 characters. You can't do the threads, so kind of shit out of luck. And so saying 210 characters kind of gives that sort of margin of error for the model to say, oh, okay, I know to keep it shorter, and if it goes a little bit over, like maybe it generates 230 characters, but I found that it's actually pretty good at not going up and past uh, 280 if you keep it to a lower amount like this. And then I have it respond in the tweet tags right here. And okay, the next thing I'm doing is I'm using the text parser. I showed you this in the last video. This is actually a very similar setup to the last video. And we have this regular expression that you can again use ChatGPT or some other AI tool to generate you a regular expression if you don't know how to make one and I'm looking for the tweet tags. So inside of the response from Claude, you see it has like all this other text. You can see the preview, like here's my tweet based on yada, 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 but we only want the tweet that is inside the tweet tags. And once we do that, we, I just save it to another Google sheet just for my own sanity purposes. And then we will schedule them to buffer. So let's try to do this right now and see if it will run for us. And then we will end the video. And again, as this is running, I just want to let you guys know, like this is kind of the stuff that is really important is you can come up with these cool kind of ways to explore, experiment, and save time in the process. You're going to be eons ahead of people that aren't using this technology right now. So if you have some sort of idea and you want to test it out on an audience, you, you wanted to make some sort of account, now you can do this and it's not going to take that much time off of your back. All you have to do is spend a couple hours once and then set it and then forget it, maybe a couple couple days of maintenance here and there, but essentially we're just trying to build out these systems and these new ways to kind of figure out what is wanted by people. And as you can see, we have it done here and we can take a look at the operation. Okay. Here's my tweet, uh, struggling to manage time. Try setting constant schedule. Does it does any screen screen free time zones and engaging in offline activities, utilize apps and features to monitor usage and set limits, educate family members and work together to find a healthy work life balance or to find a healthy balance. Okay, and I'm just checking if we go to buffer. <laughs> yes, to, to resolve struggling to manage screen time. Yes, I am. That is essentially the video. Well, I have this all end to end now where I am scraping or listening to the subreddit uh, r slash self improvement. And then we are extracting the key information and making an answer based on what perplexity finds. And then we are listening to that Google Sheet, 
using Claude to make a perfect, nice, concise, less than 280 character tweet, then scheduling it to buffer and doing that over and over and over again to see if there's any traction with this market of attention. So if you like the video, again, please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have not joined my school, you can also join my school. It is free. Link is in the description below. And yeah, other than that, much love and peace, y'all.